Today I'm going to share with you how to remove the tripod legs and the shadow of your tripod legs from the nadir of your 360 photo using the retouch app on iPhone just like that. The first thing you need to do is export your 360 photos from the Insta360 app to your phone album so you can open it in the retouch app. So there are two ways of doing this. If you want to export a single photo then tap on the photo and then tap export in the top right hand corner, tap export 360 photo, then tap save to album and then the process will begin, then tap confirm. Now the second way of doing this, if you want to export multiple photos at a time, tap the multi-select button, tap the photos you wish to export and when you tap export over here, it will batch export all these photos at the same time. Then tap confirm. So now if you go to your camera roll then you'll see all the 360 photos you just exported. Next open up the retouch app and there are two buttons albums and tutorials. So to open up your 360 photo to edit it tap albums then choose the photo you wish to edit and it will load. You can look around your 360 photo by swiping across the screen left and right, up and down and you can zoom out by pinching inwards and zoom in by pinching outwards. So I'm going to look down at the nadir of my 360 photo and here are the tripod legs which I want to remove from my 360 photo. Now because it's on sand which is a very simple texture and there are no shadows this is going to be very simple to remove. So all I need to do is tap quick repair and then I'm going to make a selection over the tripod legs just by holding my finger down and dragging across the tripod legs just like that. And once it's all selected, I'm just going to let go. And now the tripod legs has magically disappeared. And that's it. And if you want to look around your 360 photo again, just tap the back button so that quick repair is not selected and then you can start to move around and look around your 360 photo. And look at that, it's completely gone. So the final step is to export your 360 photo. So to do this, tap export in the top right hand corner. You can adjust your settings by tapping settings. So you can choose the format, the size and the quality and I'm going to leave it all the same and then I will save a copy and then it will save to my camera roll and that's it. Now let's try a more complicated nadir. So I'm going to tap albums and load a different 360 photo and if we look down at this 360 photo we have the tripod legs over here and a shadow going all the way across the stairs. So let's see how we can remove this in the best way possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a quick repair on the tripod legs and then I'll deal with the shadows a little bit later. So I'll tap quick repair and make a selection over the tripod legs and let go. And now the tripod legs has magically disappeared. Next I'm going to get rid of these shadows. So first I'll make a selection on this shadow and get rid of it. I have to do it a couple of times. That's worked. Then I'll do this one over here and that's now gone. Then I'll go back so I can move the 360 photo and get this entire line in shot over here. There is another tool called line removal and we're going to use the line removal tool to get rid of this line. So tap line removal I'm going to go to settings to change the thickness of the line and I'll change it to thick. And now I'm going to draw a line over the shadow like this and let go. And now the shadow has magically disappeared and it's as easy as that to remove a tripod leg with shadows even when there's complicated lines on the floor. So then I will tap export in the top right hand corner and save my photo. And that's it. Let's try one more example. So I'll go to albums and tap the photo I wish to edit. 
And if I look down at the nadir of this 360 photo, we have quite a complicated nadir. We've got planks going across, we've got the shadows of the railings, and then we've got the tripod legs and the tripod leg shadow intersecting all of this. So let's see how easy it is to remove the tripod legs and shadow. So to tackle this, I think the first thing I'm going to do is make a selection over the tripod legs using quick repair to get rid of that first. So I will tap quick repair and make a selection over the tripod legs like this and let go. So now the tripod legs has been removed. Now I'm going to make a selection over this big shadow over here to see if I can get rid of it and let go. And now I'll make a selection over this shadow up until here and let go. And I'll make one more correction here. That looks okay. And I'm actually going to use, I'm going to go back and I'm going to use something called the clone stamp tool to fill in this shadow over here. So what the clone stamp tool does is basically think of this as point A and somewhere where you want to fill as point B. So wherever I tap, it will use the pixels from point A to fill in point B. So I want to fill in this shadow and I want to take pixels from here because this color plank and shadow is very similar to the plank over here. So I'm gonna take pixels from here and drop it here. So I'm going to just tap here and you can see that where this is point A is taking pixels from point A. This is point B, you can see a close up of it over here. It's using pixels from point A to cover the pixels in point B. So if I let go, it's now covered up the plank. And now that is perfect. So if I go back and zoom out, you can't see any tripod leg or shadows whatsoever. Then I'll go to export in the top right hand corner and save my photo. And that's it. For those of you who are looking for a mobile first 360 photo editing workflow and you have an iPhone, then the Retouch app is a must have and it only costs $1.99 for a lifetime license. Now to put that into perspective with everything else that's out there, your next best alternative is Affinity Photo on iPad, which costs $19.99 and then all your other options are based on desktop. So Affinity Photo on desktop would cost $48.99 for a lifetime license and then your next alternative after that is Photoshop, which costs $19.99 a month. In the future, I would like to see Insta360 allow us to export raw 360 photos from the Insta360 app into our camera roll so we can import these raw photos into Adobe Lightroom on our phones so we can color grade it and then we can import it into the Retouch app to get rid of the tripod and the shadows. And now we have a truly mobile first workflow for 360 photos and that would be absolutely incredible. Well, we'll have to wait and see whether we get that in the future. Definitely leave a like if you learned something new in this video. Subscribe if you want to see more awesome video tutorials coming soon and I'll see you in the next video.